so let us take about now the cell and basically is this is a second video now we are taking up a particular a general cell what organelles or how what is its structure the general structure of a cell so already as i have told that there will be some basic things in the cell which most of the cells will have but however there will be little deviation depending upon which cell uh, uh, we are talking about but more or less what diagram i have made of animal cell generally most of the animal cells will contain these uh, structure uh, will have this structure now remember first thing is that we have to understand there are two types of cell one is called prokaryotic 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 now pro means first or primitive and karyon means nucleus so the prokaryotic cell does not have a well defined nucleus or the nucleus even may be absent it will just contain the dna material what is found inside a nucleus but but uh, most of the the uh, the the, the uh, primitive organism the single cell primitive organism like some of the bacteria they don't have a well defined nucleus so that is why their their cell is primitive type so we call it and especially primitive in ten, terms of uh, the what to say the nucleus so prokaryotic pro primitive carrion nucleus so pro primitive type of nucleus or nucleus even absent example some bacterial cell they are prokaryotic cells and our cells we are advanced animals our is eukaryotic cell our cells are eukaryotic cells so our cell is eukaryotic cell advanced nucleus that means we have a well defined nucleus so now let us try to take up a structure it's a it's it's a 2d figure of a 3d object ek balloon hai balloon ke bahar ka jab membrane hai wahi cell membrane hai a balloon has got outer membrane so that is a cell membrane imagine we fill in some water inside little dirty water mud inside then that is called the cytoplasm the cytoplasm is the the liquid or fluid which is inside the cell two third of the cell will be mainly water that is why the human body two third is water only so that is there so this and obviously we will have so first thing we have to understand is that this is there is a well defined nucleus so i am talking about our cell actually the our body or advanced animals cells so now we start there is a outside membrane what does the outside membrane in a balloon does it gives shape and size it protects so cell membrane is the outer covering it is it is a semi permeable membrane that means it controls the exit and entry of things it allows certain things to get inside and expels out certain things from the cell like it can allow o2 to come in and it can expel co2 that is why it is a semi permeable membrane not all the things will be allowed to come in so it's a complex process of the cell membrane most important is first to give the shape and size and secondly to control the exit and entry then cytoplasm i told you it is the ground material in which other organelles float so the fluid inside then it then the mitochondria mitochondria is a very very important structure mitochondria i will put the arrow till here so the mitochondria mitochondria is board size size structure and remember mitochondria put your focus there and mitochondria is what mitochondria will uh, get oxygen when comes in it goes inside the mitochondria and then there it uh, burns food and converts in, uh, food into a uh, food burning process takes place and we get energy and energy in terms of atp molecule so normal energy is in heat so in bio we call it atp molecule so we get atp molecule in terms of energy so it provides energy it, it that means oxidation of food takes place in mitochondria so when oxy oxidation takes place that means burning take, takes place not the real burning but the burning takes place that means energy is produced and that is why mitochondria is known as the power house of the cell mitochondria is known as the power house of the cell 
then we come to the, uh, the other thing nucleus nucleus is the control cell remember our nucleus will contain our nucleus will contain all these points you have to write and especially in the comment section our nucleus will contain chromosomes chromosomes are hereditary unit you know chromosomes not only decide the number of chromosomes will decide what type of animal it is like for us there are 23 pair of chromosomes if suppose the blood is dropped over here or and then we also have some flesh over there and we take out and find out what cell it is and if we count the number of chromosome is 23 pair so it is animal cell if it is six pair it is drosophila fly so number of chromosomes will vary and that is just imagine the nucleus contains our our report the in the hereditary units also are kept and the chromosomes will contain dna dna will contain the informations about about our whole genetic makeup you can understand you know when you go to the go to a market a shop and you see there are barcodes and the person keeps over there a machine and then everything of that particular uh, material product is displayed same thing chromosome contains dna and dna will tell everything our color our nature everything how we will grow what will happen so dna stores genetic materials all right uh, that is very very important and nucleolus is there it is mainly associated associated with certain type of protein synthesis in blending with ribosome etc so that is there and then the cover of that is nuclear membrane and that is these whole things nuclear membrane nucleolus chromatin network and nucleoplasma again like cytoplasm there will be some fluid here so that is nucleoplasm in which nucleo nucleolus chromatin network and nuclear membrane will float so you will tell what is chromatin network so chromosomes they are not clear every chromosome is like this so when the cell is not dividing then it appears like a complex you know it appears like this is one pair of chromosome so when the chromosome is not visible then it, like it is in a complex form you know how we have thread you know at one place so all of them are entangled with each other but during cell division they all are bifurcated and we can count then we come to the vacuoles there are many vacuoles you know we will connect it to plant cell very soon so there are many vacuoles the vacuoles will give little volume and shape and the maintains the pressure of the balloon you i said so of the cell there will be the pressure maintains then there are lysosomes so digestion of food also takes place in cell you know so lysosome will secrete digestive enzymes and uh, lysosome lysosome also digest uh, uh, if suppose a cell is uh, going uh, so there is something wrong going on in the cell then what happens or there is some the cell uh, has to is worn out some repair has to be done then it may it may sometimes lysosome may digest the whole cell and that is why it is known as suicidal bag of the cell also it is also called suicidal bag of the cell normal function is to di digestive enzymes has to uh, is secreted and it aids in digestion but in case of need it will digest the whole cell so it is known as suicidal bag like I said, mitochondria, since it gives oxidation, uh, it, it does oxidation of food, so it is known as powerhouse of the cell. Then there will be network of like structure, thread-like structure that is endosplasmic reticulum. Mainly they are synthesizing, packaging, a protein and Golgi body helps ER in, you know, packing protein and all, Golgi apparatus also we call it. And it is, that is why it packs and sends the protein into different places in form of vesicles. So Golgi body is also known as the control and shipment center of the cell. So see, nucleus is the control center. Mitochondria is also known as the power center, power house of the cell. Lysosome is the suicidal bag and Golgi body is the shipping center. Then you know anything I missed? Okay, endoplasmic reticulum. You see there are dot dot structure, there are protein ribosomes. Ribosomes are there which are synthesizing protein and helping out and they move here and there. Some of them go and get stuck on the endoplasmic reticulum. It, endoplasmic reticulum is not only providing, uh, not only doing synthesis and packaging of protein, but it also maintaining, you know, the bulk, uh, the shape of the cell also. And it is also helping in, you know, connecting the cell with the outside, you know, exchanges of things. So that is there about cell. Remember this, that. Uh, Certain organ, uh, certain organelles also crop up 
in a time of you know cell division like centriole may be seen centriole may be seen in cell during the cell division in an animal cell so that is what is there for uh, the cell as a whole please children especially make notes of you know make notes cell structure then write down cell then cytoplasm then cell organelles what are the organelles Mean, means what are the different organs like structures like nucleus is one of the organelles mitochondria is another organelle lysosome is another uh, another organelle these are almost living that means they are performing some functions while the cytoplasm is non living part of, we can say more or less but not it's also uh, working but normally the organelles are doing the functions and uh, cytoplasm is providing the you know site or the place so that is most important in animal cell thank you